Tactics of sweeping fire help Russia penetrate the stronghold of Ukraine. Experts say that the Russian military has used a tactic from World War II to penetrate strongpoints such as Ukraine's stronghold in Donbass. The recent skirmishes between Russia and Ukraine in Marinka, Donetsk are considered a prime example of the sweeping fire tactics that Russia is deploying in the Donbass. This is a specialized tactic to penetrate fortified areas such as the opponent's stronghold, taking advantage of the advantage of fire and artillery to create an advantage on the battlefield. The basic principle of tactics is to divide artillery attacks to overwhelmingly suppress enemy targets. Basically, for the strategy to be effective, attacks that completely destroy the opponent's defense system play a very important role. In Marinka and parts of the western Don base, Ukrainian forces have established an extensive network of trenches and underground passages that have certainly been reinforced over the past eight years, a time of fighting between Ukrainian troops Kiev and the separatists in the east broke out. So it makes little sense to try to target the enemy's manpower in this situation because during the fighting Russian servicemen will have to move through fortified areas of Ukraine and they will face the risk of being ambushed by opponents in underground tunnels and trenches. According to military expert Mikhail Kodrinok, with this situation, the strategy of sweeping fire is an effective option. In order to destroy the solid fortifications of Ukraine, Russia must concentrate its firepower in a dense density and certainly must consume a large amount of ammunition. Instead of using 200 shells of 152mm cannon, Russia may have to use up to 300 to 350 shells to destroy each target. Performing many of the same attacks in a rush will make the opponent unable to hide and will destroy the fortified fortifications. To achieve a dense density of fire, instead of one artillery battalion, Russia could use 10 or 20 battalions at once. Even for an open target, this tactic may require 300 to 500 shells to be mobilized. According to Kodorinok, with a battle like in Marinka, Russia can use 5,000 shells to target fortifications in one to two days. With a dense density of fire, the Ukrainian side was forced to quickly evacuate before the fortifications were destroyed. In addition, due to Russia's overwhelming amount of firepower, it is difficult for Ukraine to implement counterattack tactics. According to the expert, if Russia deploys more air forces to fire on the fortifications, the pressure facing Ukrainian forces will increase even more. The disadvantage of this tactic is that it has to mobilize a very large amount of ammunition, so it requires a steady and adequate supply of shells. With Ukraine using a high-precision multiple rocket launcher system like the Western-aided HIMARS, Kiev could destroy Russia's stockpiles and could make it difficult for Moscow to maintain its tactics.